From the hilarious plumbing commercial to the epic fight scene between Mario and Donkey Kong, the Super Mario Bros. movie offers a lot of memorable moments. And who knew that the movie would be such a roller coaster of emotions? With a plot that follows Mario, Luigi, and Princess Peach as they try to save the Mushroom Kingdom from being overtaken by Bowser, the Super Mario Bros. movie has taken the world by storm. We've searched all over the depths of the internet, and today, we will discuss the fans' most favorite moments from the movie. As such, there are major spoilers ahead, so in case you haven't watched it yet, do that first and then come back again. Let's get right into the video. 1. That Super Mario Bros. Plumbing Commercial The Super Mario Bros. movie starts with a cold open that shows Bowser's ongoing conquest of the universe that the Mushroom Kingdom is in. We saw a condensed version of this scene in the first trailer for the movie. It sets the epic stakes of the story and is full of faux gritty seriousness. And then it cuts to a local plumbing commercial starring Brooklyn's own Mario and Luigi, complete with a ditty inspired by the Super Mario Bros. Super Show theme song. The commercial is hilarious in its context, but the hard cut from the epic fantasy prologue to this goofy riff is such a great joke that it makes it twice as funny. 2. When Bowser Throws a Mosh Pit Party Amidst his numerous attempts to conquer the world, Bowser has a liking for hosting his very own club night. With flames blazing around the dance floor and an army of Koopas headbanging so intensely that they might lose their shells, Bowser is officially the king of thrashing. Unsurprisingly, someone as furious as Bowser would need a daily mosh pit to vent his anger. He is filled with so much endless rage that scream singing along to Van Halen is his only escape from reality. Although, surprisingly, Jack Black didn't take Bowser's mosh pit scene as an opportunity to perform some tenacious D, the party is still insanely incredible. 3. That depressed Blue Luma Star When Bowser captures Luigi, he's placed in an elaborate dungeon where every cell is a cage hanging from a chain over a lava pit. While Luigi may still be new here, others have been stuck in there for a long time. One such being is Blue Luma Star, with a child's voice, who wants nothing more than to experience the sweet embrace of death. It's an impossibly weird running gag for a children's movie, but it works because of the dramatic disconnect between the cuteness of the star and its toddler's voice, and the disturbing nature of his desires. Even better, the nihilistic asides from this Luma star get more and more hilarious as the movie progresses and the stakes ramp up. 4. Cranky Kong When it comes to the Kong family, everybody's always focused on Donkey Kong. That makes sense, of course, since he's the title character in his sub-franchise. But in the Super Mario Bros. movie, he has to take a back seat to the true king of Kong Country, Cranky Kong, voiced by Fred Armisen. Armisen is just doing a Fred Armisen character here, meaning Cranky Kong is dry, sarcastic, and cranky. But most importantly, he's got deficient energy compared with every other central character. That contrast is a surprising delight. 5. Cat Mario To secure the Kong family's aid against Bowser, Mario must engage in a one-on-one -on -one battle with Donkey Kong. Not a big deal, right? After all, this is Mario's origin story in the old Donkey Kong arcade game. However, it turns out that a small human facing a giant ape, voiced by Seth Rogen, is a bit of an uphill battle. But, as always, power-ups are the key to Mario's survival. In this case, he uses the cat suit from Super Mario 3D World to defeat Donkey Kong. While the cat jokes may be a little too obvious at times, Cat Mario remains one of the movie's best out-of-left-field moments. 6. Rainbow Road Once they've obtained the Kong's aid, it's time for Peach, Mario, and everybody else to go to war. And so they take a shortcut, the Rainbow Road. But they're not going to pull out the most famous Mario Kart track without making it a chase. And oh boy, is this a chase! Has a great car chase ever been in a big-budget animated movie? One in the same category as the best live-action car movie chases? Not until now! But this Rainbow Road sequence uses every 3D and only possible with animation camera trick they've got to put together a Mad Max Fury Road quality chase sequence. And it's beautiful, too. 7. Let's a go! Chris Pratt and Charlie Day don't deploy their exaggerated Mario Brothers accents too often. Still, throughout the film, Mario casually drops a Marioism during crucial moments, usually a Mamma Mia! At the very end of the movie, when Mario is all beat up but has to do something soon or his home in Brooklyn will be destroyed, he utters an almost muted Let's a go before springing into action that had all of us rolling. 8. When Bowser serenades a picture of Peach. Did you know that the letter B in Bowser's name stands for Balladeer? Apart from being a conqueror, this dragon-slash-turtle hybrid is also a performer. In a heartwarming scene, Bowser plays a beautiful melody on the piano while singing his heart out. The chorus repeats Peaches, Peaches, Peaches as Bowser gazes at a framed picture of Princess Peach. Clearly, the Beast is in love and just wants his beauty to hear his song. The entire scene of Bowser's serenade is pure comedy with Jack Black's phenomenal vibrato shining through every line and the 80s music video aesthetic turning the scene into a work of art. 9. 
when the blue shell somehow gets even worse. The experience of being hit by a blue shell just before the finish line in Mario Kart can be one of the most disheartening experiences ever. In the Super Mario Bros. movie, a car chase scene pays tribute to that feeling by depicting a race on Rainbow Road where the gang tries to escape Bowser, who is almost able to catch up with them. However, a Koopa Troopa appears and unleashes its powerful blue shell, causing chaos and destruction. The feeling of empathy that fans like us felt for Mario and Donkey Kong as they watched the blue shell hover around them, land right on top of them, and launch them off the racetrack was indescribable. The blue shell has always been the true enemy in the Super Mario universe, and it will always remain that way. 10. Mario and Luigi Reunited After Mario and Donkey Kong had fought their way through Bowser's army and reached just in time to rescue Peach, Luigi, and the other prisoners from being dipped in the lava, we witnessed another heartwarming moment where Mario finally reunited with his brother Luigi. We are happy to see that Mario and Luigi share a strong bond of brotherly love instead of the typical sibling rivalry. This scene truly exemplifies the true meaning of brotherhood and love. 11. When Peach Keeps Saying, My Toads Fans never questioned how Peach would address her royal subjects, but we never expected her to call them My Toads. It's so stupidly funny. It screams cool queen trying to get down with her people. And it's such a silly term of endearment, said with so much seriousness, that you can't help but laugh at how right Peach thinks she is by saying it. My Toads! Surely there's another way to address your people with fondness. How about my friends or my trusted comrades? 12. Mario and Donkey Kong working together Before we get to the scene, it is worth noting that after Mario rescued Donkey Kong from drowning, Donkey Kong is almost grateful for his help, until they are both swallowed alive by the giant eel monster, so they resort to arguing again. Seriously? Mario saved Donkey Kong's life, and they argued again in just five minutes? Anyway, fans were glad that they both put aside their differences and chose to work together by escaping the eel returning to Toad Town and storming Toad Town, and defeating many of Bowser's minions to reach Bowser and Peach's wedding. 13. Mario Meets Toad One of the film's most famous scenes, after the Mario brothers have separated, Mario ends up near Toad Town, where he meets Toad himself. After Mario met him, we could already tell that we would like this character, and believe me, we're glad we did, because he is kind-hearted and cheery. He's also loyal to Princess Peach, when he volunteers to travel with Mario and the princess to the Kong Kingdom. Fans were also happy they included the Captain Toad theme for this little guy, because that is a massive nod to the game Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. 14. When some toads tell Mario to go to another castle The Super Mario Bros. movie is full of Easter eggs and nods to the games. However, one scene stands out as the sweetest tribute. When Mario arrives in the Mushroom Kingdom and heads to Princess Peach's castle, he's told by some toads to go to another castle because the princess isn't there. You'll recognize the reference if you played the original Super Mario game. In the original games, whenever Mario arrived at a castle, he'd find Toad telling him, Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle, until the last level. The Toads using that same tagline in the movie was a touching tribute that made me nostalgic for my old Game Boy. 15. When Tanuki Mario, of all characters, saves the day After obtaining the Raccoon Mario power-up, Mario adopts the Tanuki outfit, plus its strength, and uses its many skills to stop Bowser's bullet from destroying the Mushroom Kingdom. Out of all possible Mario variations the movie could have used, fans were thrilled that they went with the fluffiest and cutest Mario, recognizing him as the superhero we all need, not to mention an excellent, timeless meme. Tanuki fangirling aside, fans didn't expect the Super Mario Bros. movie to show as many of Mario's variations as it did. Who knows, we'll get Dr. Mario in the sequel. 16. When Yoshi finally makes his appearance Taking some notes from the MCU, the Super Mario Bros. movie is expanding its universe with a post credit scene that promises a sequel. Like the memorable sneak peek at Thanos in The Avengers, the Super Mario Bros. movie has its big surprise in store, Yoshi's Reveal. The post-credits see Yoshi's egg cracking right before the screen goes black, silencing all skeptics with a subtle confirmation that Mario will return. Yoshi will be there with him, and we might be getting even more familiar faces in a potential sequel. Fingers crossed Waluigi and Wario will also be there. 17. Building Carts with the Kongs and finally, another fan-favorite scene regarding the Kongs was when Mario defeated Donkey Kong and earned Cranky Kong's trust and armies to help defeat Bowser. They would build themselves carts to travel down Rainbow Road and surprise Bowser and his armies. Fans were pretty surprised, but happy that they got to include the elements of the Mario Kart games for this film, since it is the most favorable game series alongside the main game series. Toad's build of his cart is quite funny, with him acting cool or hip was also very interesting to watch. And there you have it, folks. This just about wraps up all of our favorite moments from the Super Mario Bros. movie. The movie's success can be attributed to a harmonious blend of star power, stunning animation, a nod to nostalgia, and the magic of Mario's timeless appeal. 
as fans continue to celebrate the film's triumph, it stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of a beloved video game franchise and the timeless joy it brings to audiences worldwide. What was your favorite scene from the movie? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time! Thank you.